Yes, guys, Nityan Dam. In this video, I'm going to share about cognition. I got a question actually uh, because I did share about what is a cognition in a French video. So somebody was asking me to do it in English as well. So I'm going to give my clicks about what is a cognition from what Swamiji has been sharing in his daily satsangs, discourses. So with this, I welcome him with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. So the first thing that Swamiji was sharing is a cognition is a, a belief or an understanding that we have that we do not, uh, an understanding from which we make our decisions in life that we never question. I'll give basic examples. I am human. Is for most of us a cognition we operate from. But the problem with these cognitions is that they are limiting us to a certain scope of possibility. And the purpose of the spiritual journey of having the Guru and the Sanatana and Dharma is enlightenment. Enlightenment meaning that we have to remember that we are pure consciousness. We are not human. We do have a human body. You might be male, you might be female, but you should not be stuck by the cognition, I am male, I am female, or I am human. We should find that space of pure possibility, which is the space of pure consciousness, where everything is possible. So that is the purpose. Cognition is very important. It is not something superficial. It is something so deep that most of the time we are not aware of the cognitions we cherish. And the purpose of spiritual practice, of sadhana, of having a guru, being a disciple, living the lifestyle of Sanatana Hindu Dharma, is to raise our awareness so that we can find these cognitions again and consciously decide if these cognitions are the cognitions we want to cherish for our life, yes or not. All the sufferings we have in our life are because of limiting cognitions which do not, which do not, it, it doesn't allow us to be in the space of possibility. So we have to constantly seek the space of possibility and constantly look into the cognitions from which we operate. And the cognition that we should seek for is Paramashivoham. I am Paramashiva. So understanding what Paramashiva is, listening to Swamiji's discourse about the 25 heads of Paramashiva, 11 dimensions, 25 states of consciousness, and all these things help us to start to cognize what is Paramashiva. And the more we successfully cognize what Paramashiva is, automatically we start to radiate that because we are always seeking for the space of Paramashiva, which is I am Paramashiva. So cognition is very important. It is not something to be taken lightly. Powerful cognitions is a cognition which allows you to handle life powerfully, no matter what life is in, what, no matter what happens in front of you. Um, a powerful cognition happens only from the space of possibility. So a powerful cognition is very simple, actually. It's not complicated at all. It's just a decision to be powerful and having an understanding which allows you to handle whatever situation you're facing powerfully. It can be anything. For instance, you might be stuck outside hungry and without the possibility of getting food. You can have a powerful cognition of I am pure consciousness, I can manifest powers and you can manifest actual food. Or you can have a powerful cognition saying I am pure consciousness, I am beyond body. I am not affected by hunger and all these low frequency experiences. So both of these cognitions can help you to overcome or to not overcome, to, to discard the powerlessness that you might experience when you feel, I'm hungry, I need food, and feeling this kind of, uh, kind of despair or, yeah, powerlessness. And um, that powerful cognition is very simple. It's very simple. And there are thousands of powerful cognitions. Swamiji is sharing loads and loads and loads of powerful cognitions in his daily satsangs. Some of them will click with you. And you will just remember them and you will implement them. You will start to operate from these cognitions in your life. And then you will start to get the benefits from doing that. And that's how it works. And that's why it's important to have a guru, especially an enlightened or an avatar one, because he will always produce powerful cognitions. So some cognitions might click with you at the beginning or not. Some will. You, you start where you feel connected and you just expand. And at some point you start to understand all the powerful cognitions that Swamiji is sharing and you implement them in your life and you get the benefits. So it's all about being aware of the cognitions from which we operate and consciously deciding 
to keep or discard powerless cog cog the cognitions. Discard the powerless cognitions and keep the powerful cognitions so that you can live your life powerfully just like Shiva, Paramashiva. So that's why the Mahavakya of Paramashivoham is so important. It has to be the foundation of the way we exist. It should be, I'm existing because I'm Paramashiva. Then after that, other decisions and other responses can happen. But the fund fundamental cognition and the fundamental thing we should seek for, seek, seek deeper experience, deeper understanding, deeper fulfillment, deeper, deeper emotional fulfillment with, is the space of Paramashivoham. And that is why Swamji has shared with us, initiated us in the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. So, Constantly listening to this mantra, this Mahavakya, is very important for us to remember, to cognize, I am Paramashiva, I am Paramashiva, I am Paramashiva. And when you face situations where you might cherish and generate powerlessness, you will decide, you will realize that you're doing that and you will stop cherishing powerlessness and you will continue to establish yourself in the space of Paramashivoham. So cognitions, very important. So if you have more questions or experiences about cognition, please share below, like, subscribe, click the bell icon, perhaps again because I did some change in the settings and then some people are saying that now they're getting notifications in the, um, in the spam folder in their emails instead of the inbox. So yeah, there might be these things, so you check it out. But uh, I do upload every day, so that is something you can expect. So with this, inviting you all to watch the videos and watch Swamji satsangs every day. And uh, if you're not initiated into the Atmalinga, uh, look in the description below, there's a link. I don't know when the next initiation happens. Yesterday was the end of the, uh, the initiation, but Swamji does it every two, three weeks. So I would highly recommend to contemplate and see for yourself if you should get initiated. I would highly recommend it. I think it is the best way for various reasons. And uh, it is free also. So no questions, no obstacles. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.